YouTube, we have an AR that could possibly take over the STG, and that is the Tag 56. I've been using this gun for a while now. <laughs> And this has to be the best long range weapon and best assault rifle in the game right now. I want the quartermaster suppressor on the Heinrichter C70 longbow. I want as many bullets as possible, so I put on the 50 round drum. But if you guys don't want that, I guess you can use the 40. I've really been enjoying using the Coyote Eagle's Eye 2.5 times, but I've seen people use a bunch of different things from the Niter to the Slate Reflector to the Jack Glassless Optic. This is my preference, so pick whatever you really want to. Finally, put on the DR79 combo stock. There's the entire build right here. Make sure you take a picture, screenshot, or whatever you guys have to do, because this is what you're going to lose to if you're not using this class. Up.
the channel, man. In today's video, I got you guys with an absolutely insane FGX Horus build for Rebirth Island. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock, you'll notice that the static HV is absolutely dominating Rebirth. But what if I told you this FGX Horus is even better? Honestly, guys, you have to try out this loadout. We dropped a 50 bomb in today's video. And <laughs> decided to add one of the most broken assault rifles of all time in warzone history the cold war qbz i don't know if you guys remember the qbz from warzone 1 well i decided to bring it back in warzone 3 for today's video <laughs>
kill games and a 50 kill game with this QBZ class setup in today's gameplay. So here are the attachments. In order to remake the QBZ in Warzone 3, you're going to want to put on the DG58 LMG and then put on these exact attachments. So we have the Quartermaster Suppressor Muzzle, the Bruin Heavy Support Underbarrel, the High Grain Ammunition, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5x Optic, and the Wadoo Long Barrel. If you guys did enjoy today's gameplay, drop like, subscribe.